Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Svetozar Gligoric and George Avirovic. Can you pronounce Svetozar Gligoric? Have a go. Svetozar Gligoric. Maybe it's hard. Try the other one. George Avirovic. That one is easier, isn't it? This game was played in Zagreb in 1949. Where is Zagreb? Zagreb is the capital city of Croatia. At the time when this game was played, Croatia was a part of Yugoslavia and this game is part of Yugoslav Chess Championship. There is a special person that lives in Zagreb. His name is Josip Jelic. Who is Josip Jelic? Well, that is my father. Ok, let's have a look at the game. Gligoric had white pieces and he started with e4. Avirovic played c6, knight to c3, d5, so we have Karo Khan defense. Pawn takes pawn and knight takes on e4. Bishop to g4, pinning knight, d4, and the book move is e6. But Avirovic decided to capture the knight and to win the pawn on d4. And this variation never became a book variation. Bishop to d3, knight to d7, bishop to e3, attacking queen and Gligoric is offering another pawn. So queen takes on b2 is possible, but uh, black was afraid that he would be behind in development, so he played queen to d5, queen to g3, knight to e5, attacking bishop, Gligoric just castled kingside, knight takes bishop, pawn takes knight, and again, black has a chance to win a pawn, but again, he was worried that he would be behind in development, so he decided to develop some of his pieces. He played g6, he wants to fianchetto his bishop to g7. Gligoric even doesn't bother to defend that pawn, he played rook from f to e1, bishop to g7, attacking pawn on b2, and now this is a very interesting part. Gligoric captured pawn on a7. Black didn't capture bishop, but if he did, this would happen then. Then Queen to b8 check, and after queen to d8, queen takes rook, and black is in a very bad shape. So in the game, Avirovic played bishop to e5, attacking queen, queen to e3, defending bishop, and now perhaps rook to d8 was the best move, or better than this one. Bishop takes on b2, but black just couldn't resist temptation, he had to capture that pawn. And now rook from a to b1. If bishop moves, let's say bishop goes to e5, then rook takes on b7, and black is again in a bad shape. So in the game, black captured pawn on a2 with queen, defending bishop, and attacking white bishop on a7. And we have reached critical position of the game. It is white to move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the winning move that white played in this position. Are you ready? The winning move is bishop to d4 and black played f6. What will happen if bishop takes bishop? If bishop takes bishop, then queen takes on d4 attacking rook, and after, for example, f6, rook to a1, and black is lost. So in the game, in this position, black played f6, but this is also losing. Gligoric just captured bishop on b2 and black resigned. 
So in this game you have seen why this pawn grabbing never became a trend. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.